In the unyielding heart of the Nevada desert, remnants of a forgotten town stand silent, their stories untold, their history lost to the sands of time. A relentless sun casts long, eerie shadows over the crumbling structures and deserted roads. This ghost town, in every sense of the word, is a testament to lingering echoes of a bygone era. Rumor has it, this town was once a bustling pocket of life, built around a mine that yielded unimaginable wealth. As time passed, its people began to drift away, lured by the promise of new opportunities. The few who chose to remain behind whispered of strange occurrences under the cover of darkness, of spectral whispers and shadows moving with a life of their own. The tale of this town reached my ears through an elderly prospector, met by chance in a dusty Las Vegas saloon. He spoke of hidden gold and a town doomed by its own avarice. Intrigued, I embarked on a quest to uncover its secrets, armed with little more than a worn-out map and a spirit of adventure. As the forgotten town loomed in the distance, an unsettling feeling washed over me. I could feel the weight of the past in the heavy air. Silent buildings stood guard, their shattered windows and unhinged doors bearing silent testimony to a forgotten time. I thought I could hear whispers, carried on, carried on the desert breeze, tales of the people who once called this place home. I set up camp within the skeletal remains of a former boarding house. The building groaned in protest as I settled in for the night. Sleep was a fickle friend, disturbed by unexplained sounds that seemed to emanate from the very walls. The town, it seemed, was not as dead as it appeared, its secrets stirring with the fall of darkness. Dawn found me wandering the deserted streets, driven by an insatiable curiosity. I explored homes frozen in time, their interiors suggesting a hasty departure. In one such home, I discovered an aged journal filled with tales of spectral voices and shadowy figures. The more I unearthed, the more I became convinced of the veracity of these tales. I could feel unseen eyes on me and the softest echo of footsteps trailing behind. Yet, I pressed on, driven by a need to expose the secrets that lay buried in this forgotten town. My journey took me deep into the bowels of the abandoned mine, where I stumbled upon a chilling sight. A hidden chamber housed a shrine, adorned with cryptic symbols and faded photographs. At its heart, a single word etched into the rock, forgotten. A cold chill swept over me as I read the inscription. I finally understood the true nature of the town's curse. It wasn't the mine or the inhabitants' greed that had sealed their fate, but something far more ancient and sinister, lurking in the shadows, waiting to be remembered. As I turned to leave, an ancient voice whispered in my ear, You cannot escape. This town is not done with you yet. A shiver of terror ran down my spine as I found myself standing in the midst of a bustling town square. The dilapidated buildings and crumbling streets stood in the distance, the ghost town now a part of me. I was invisible, a spectral presence in a town that should have been forgotten. The curse of the town had ensnared me, binding me to its fate for all eternity. I had become one of the forgotten, a whisper lost in the echoes of desolation.